In this video, I will show you how I renewed my Sharm City certification in a simple, hassle-free way without spending too much time and effort over the period of last three years. Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm learning a development specialist based in Dubai. Sharm certification needs to be renewed every three years, otherwise you lose it and all the hard effort that you put into preparing for the exam and then taking the exam is gone. Why Charm does this to you? Well, they believe that if you want to hold a title of Charm CP or Certified Professional, you need to develop and educate yourself constantly and you need to show a proof in terms of papers and certificates. Being L&D professional, I get it, it makes sense. And of course, it's a way for Charm certification to earn money. If you are new to Charm certification, the way it works is that to get a certification, you need to pass an exam. To pass the exam, you need to go and prepare yourself for it. And there are many, many online tools available for you. Once you pass the exam, your certification is valid for three years. And then you need to recertify. How you do it? As a Sharm certification holder, you can choose one of the two options for, for the certification. Option number one, you can retake the certification exam within last year of your recertification cycle. You need to complete the application process, pay the exam fee and test your current certification level not earlier than 12 months before the end of your three-year recertification cycle. If you fail the exam, your credentials will be revoked and you will need to reapply and pass the exam again. So why would you do this to yourself? Let's go directly to option number two. You can earn 60 professional development credits within your three-year recertification cycle. You would need to enter your personal development credits or PDCs in the Charm certification portal, pay the renewal fee, and you are done. So what is included in personal development credits? There is a list of pre-approved activities by Charm that can advance your education, your organization, and your profession. All right, so option number one, you can help or advance your organization. You can earn maximum of 30 personal development credits for three-year recertification cycle. With this one, you, you can earn them through projects that you did inside your organization that contributed to your professional growth and to the growth of the organization. PDCs are calculated based on the time you spent working on these projects. To get credits, you need to provide a written brief and uh, explaining the specifics of the project. So this is something that I haven't done, but I think I would do something like this for my next recertification cycle. You get 10 PDCs for 40 plus hours of work, uh, 20 for 80 plus hours of work, and 30 for 120 hours of work. So the examples of projects that work could be you were implementing a learning management system in your workplace, or you have been redesigning and revamping employee onboarding experience or maybe you were relooking and restructuring employees compensation and benefits and again you don't have to be a manager you don't have to lead the projects you can be part of the project and you can describe your contribution and what you did all right so the next option is to advance your profession advance your profession includes doing presentations at work doing a professional research or writing articles or publishing something volunteering and participating in certain memberships for example ATD membership you can earn up to 30 PDCs for these activities and again this is not something that I uh, have utilized and finally advance your education and this is something what I did I earned 60 personal development credits by advancing my education what that includes it is attending conferences, seminars, workshops, taking online courses, or maybe even taking degree, participating in selected e-learning programs, video conferences. Also includes reading Charm approved books and e-books. The list is really long. So to be precise, I completed around 30 LinkedIn learning courses, which seems like a lot, but in reality, it is 10 courses per year and it is one course a month. You just need to plan them and schedule them in your calendar. In the other 30 personal development uh, credits, I 
earned through attending two face-to-face -face courses uh, and trainings here in Dubai and attending one free HR conference. That's pretty much it. Okay, now let's go back to LinkedIn Learning. Let me show you how you can find Charm approved courses. So this is how LinkedIn Learning Home looks like. On your left, if you, if you scroll down, you will see certifications and click on them. And continuing education, you see here, you see Society for Human Resources Management. And you see all the resources that qualify uh, by a Charm certification body. Now, what I suggest, click on type and click on courses. So you exactly see courses because you get personal development credits for courses. So you, we can see that right now, for example, we have 132 courses available, which is great. And when you open the course uh, in the in the description down so you will see this sign which is mean this this course is recognized by charm and this is the professional development credit that you will earn all right so when you finish the course this is how certificate is going to look like you have the title completed you have dates minutes skills covered on the left you have charm sign and at the bottom, there is very important information that later on you would need. You have here that it is recognized, blah, blah, blah. And then you have activity ID. So this is something that Charm recertification portal will ask you to input. So it is your activity ID. And you see also how many PDCs you have earned. Click on home. So if you scroll down, Sorry for the noise at the background, there are kids playing in the swimming pool. And here you have your certification details. So you have your status, which is active. You, you have your current cycle um, start date that for me started on the 10th of uh, August 2020 and current cycle end day. And as I film today, this is the day, this is the 30th of September. And my current revocation date, which is basically when my certification will be removed if I don't uh, update it, is the uh, 30th of November. And I'm certified since um, August 10, 2020. Okay, so here you have your um, your hours, your activities that you need to um, record. So, so let me show you how you add a LinkedIn uh, learning. You click on add. Do you have an activity? So with uh, LinkedIn, yes, you do have a free certificate that has an activity. Uh, for example, the course is demystifying companies culture. And I have activity you see here. So I put an activity. And I do search. And it tells me, you know, the provider, the hours, who is the speaker. And then I knew, for example, that I have completed it uh, 4th of August. So I can say, why not September, August, 4th of August. And finishing on, you can put the same thing, 4th of August. Okay. And you click submit. Ta-da! It is here. Now that was LinkedIn Learning Course. And I know that you can add a course or training that you have attended that is not in the Charm approved list of their preferred providers and it still will be accepted. Let me show you how. Let me say that um, I have attended train, train the Trainer course earlier this year. So when you scroll to the end, you find the other, okay? So you need to put same details. So for me, my course was on April, it was April 26 to April 20, 27. It was two days course. Um, it was 14 hours every day, seven program type. Seminar uh, workshop, if, if other or not least an enter provider. So that was, Institute of Sales um, and Marketing, and this was the name of the speaker. Okay, and then we click Submit. So, as you see here, this line for 14 hours train the trainer training. If you want to be on the safe side, make sure that the topic of your course is related to HR and that you have a 
certificate for that. Now let me show you recording of actually what happened to me on the last day of my race certification cycle. Now let's see what's going to happen, whether I will be um, recertified. Okay, now we close and the recertify now can congratulations you are now ready to submit your application to certify now and let's see let's see what's going to happen after let's continue okay it's asked me for my details it's asked for my uh, employer information. They ask me now to read and agree terms and conditions. So what is interesting, they're saying that a recertification, application verification charm reserves the, the right to randomly verify a percentage of recertifications application. Individuals selected for these verifications will be responsible for providing supporting documentation to confirm the validity of activities and the professional development and credit listed on the recertification. With this in mind, it's important to document your development activity and then retain these records for up to six months after end of your three-year certification period. Failure to comply with the verification process may result in the revocation of your credential. Application fee is non-refundable upon submission whether your application is approved or, uh, or not. Okay, continue. Non-member recertification fee which is $150. So after I finished the purchase, I received uh, this email saying that congratulations about my recertification. Right, so this is it for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about other certifications for young L&D professionals, check one of my previous videos on this channel. I will link it in the description down below. As always, my DMs are always open for you in case you have any questions. I hope you're having adventures and following your dreams. Bye for now.